Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video we are going to make graphene at home all the time. Some of your friends asked me could you please make a video about making graphene at home. So in today's video we are going to make graphene in an easy and efficient way. You will learn how to produce graphene at home. Um, as you know there are a lot of videos on YouTube claim that they produce graphene at home but honestly speaking most of those videos are useless, are not efficient to produce graphene at home. Momentarily I will tell you why they are useless. You can't use those uh, methods to produce graphene. But before I understand the, those methods and understand today's method to produce graphene, first of all let me tell you a little bit about what is graphene, how, they are, uh, how we can produce um, graphene. Graphene is one thick atom layer of graphite. In other words, a very thin piece of graphite consists of millions or billions um, layers of graphene. Let me give you an example. Just imagine that this book was a piece of graphite and each page was the layer of graphene. So did you know what would be the thickness of that piece of graphite? One millimeter? One centimeter? No. The thickness of that piece of graphite would be only 0 0.0000001 because just a moment ago as i said uh, the thickness of the graphene layer is only one atom thick so one millimeter piece of graphite consists of maybe more than one or two billions of graphene layer so it's not really easy to pull apart each layer of the graphene from the graphite but it's also not impossible there are some ways to do this so in today's video we are going to use a method to pull apart the graphene uh, layers from the graphite okay before we get started to make graphene at home i want to just talk about those videos on youtube claim that they produce graphene and i want to talk about the methods they are using in those videos the for there there are basically two methods of producing graphene um, on those videos the first one is they put uh, dish detergent into water and just put uh, graphite powder and mix for a long time to produce graphene. It's a good way, it's possible because the uh, dish detergent will um, make a friction force with uh, graphite and it will uh, produce graphene. But here is there is a problem. The detergent will mix the graphene uh, solution into the water so after it dry it's almost impossible to remove away uh, the detergent from the graphite so we need to dry because of uh, it's a mix of detergent and graphene graphene so the conductivity of the graphene will be very low so you can't use um, those graphene very efficiently and the second method they are using in those videos the electrochemical way of producing graphene. They just um, put a compound, electrolytic compound like potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide in the water and make an electrolyte. They just put um, two graphite rods or graph oil into it and when you give the electricity, it electrolyzes in the solution in the electrolyte and the graphite will um, turn into graphene. But again, in this method, the problem is also this, almost the same. Uh, the electrolytic compound, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, whatever you call it, again will mix the graphene and when you dry it, the conductivity of the uh, graphene will be very low. It won't be pure graphene, so you can't use again those uh, graphene in any application. But today I am going to use a very new method invented by me on YouTube or on Google or any other places you can't find this method. With the help of this method we are going to produce pure graphene and the conductivity will be very high and you can use the graphene in any application you want in batteries, in supercapacitor, you can use um, this graphene. So, let's start to uh, make graphene with this method. Please watch the video very carefully. You will understand the basics and the method to produce graphene at home. So, let's start. Okay, my friend, this method consists of two steps. So, let's start with the first step. I have a jar here and I have some ultra-fine graphite powder. I will put the graphite powder into the jar. Uh, 
and I am going to add some sand, just sand. But before I put the sand into the graphite powder, I need to wash it to uh, clean it from the dust or any other um, particles. Yeah. I'm going to wash the sand. Put some water inside it. And give it a stir. You see dirty water here. We need to wash this sand because when we put this uh, sand into the graphite, this dirty water will mix the graphite. We don't want it, so we need to clean the sand. I'm going to use just a piece of fabric to um, filter the water. Okay, you see, we filtered the dirty uh, water. And I will put some more water. I will filter twice to make it completely clear. That's fine, I think that's fine. Now I will put uh, the sand into the graphite. I'm going to mix them. Now add some water. Okay, my friends, you can ask me what is the logic of this process. The logic of this process is that when we blend the solution, uh, sand and graphite solution with a blender, there will be a friction force between the sand particles and between the graphite particles. So this friction force will uh, grind the graphite. <clears throat> it will be very, very small, very tiny particles. So it will be very easy to produce graphene for the second step. Okay, now I'm going to use this electric blender, homemade electric blender, to give a stir to the solution. Okay, my friends, my recommendations for you, you should um, stir the solution about two or three hours. How long you stir it, you will get a uh, better result, uh, ultra fine graphite. So now again, we need to separate the sand from the graphite. Again, I'm going to use a piece of fabric, just filter it. So we will separate the graphite solution from the sand. It's beautiful. We separate uh, the sand from the graphite. Now 
that's good. I will wash this jar and put the graphite solution into this and we will move on to the second step to produce graphene. Okay, my friends, I will put the solution into this jar. And now we'll move on to second step. What is the second step? We need to sonicate this graphite solution in a sonic bath. Okay, my friends, I've got my sonicator and I will put some water inside it, as you see. Now I'm going to put the jar into the sonic bath, into the sonicator. Again, you have to uh, sonicate the solution about 24 hours or 48 hours. Uh, my sonicator is not very powerful. If you have a powerful, more uh, powerful sonicator, 12 hours or 20 hours will be enough to uh, getting graphene with this method. Okay, I will start the uh, sonicator. Okay, set it to 10 minutes. Okay, my friends, after 24 hours, you will get this graphene solution into the water. If you put it away and let it dry, you will get a dry graphene. By my, but my recommendations for you, if you dry the graphene, again, when you want to mix it with the water, the graphene won't mix uh, with water, so it will be difficult for you to uh, use those graphene to electroplate or for batteries or super capacitor. My recommendation is just uh, put it away and let it for uh, let it dry for a while. But when it becomes a slurry, don't completely dry it. When it becomes a slurry, just take it and add some um, binder into the graphene and mix it very well. So you can apply this graphene any surface and you can use it for a large surface area application. Of course, I didn't have enough time. I just uh, sonicated for one or two hours. So. If you sonicate your solution about 24 hours, you will get better result. And when you dry this solution, you will get pure, uh, very nice, pure graphene. Okay, my friends, we get the end of the video. If you want to make uh, graphene at home, you can use this method. It's a unique and very innovative method on YouTube that's very practical. This is a pure graphene solution. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friend. This is the result, my friends, after mixing with the binder. Ultra pure graphene paste.